Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about the linear search algorithm. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at perhaps the most well-known and most used search algorithm example, the linear search algorithm. So the best way to describe linear search in my opinion is to consider a pile of cards. So here on the right we have a shuffled pile of cards. All the cards are in some kind of random order. Now just as a thought experiment, I'm going to ask you a question about these cards very soon. But before I do, I just want to note you can do whatever you like with these cards. You can look at them, move them around, whatever. The cards are in your hands and you can do whatever you want to accomplish the task that I'm just going to ask from you. Now, what if I asked you this? Find the three of diamonds in these cards for me, the ones that I just gave you. Now, my question is, if I asked you this to find the three of diamonds in the cards that I just gave you, my question is, how would you complete this task? And, and feel free to pause the video here and actually have a think about it. It's not a trick question either. There's no wrong answer here. We all search things in different ways. But how would you how would you find it? What does your gut instinct tell you to do? What would you do? How how would you go about doing this? What strategy would you take to solve this problem? Now, there's certainly a bunch of ways of solving this problem. We could guess via probability. We could keep shuffling cards over and over and keep checking the topmost card to see if you know, it's the one we want to find, you know, that's a very poor solution, <laughs> but it's one way of doing it, right? There's many ways of doing this. However, there is one way that sticks out more than, more than the others. And this is the one that most of us would go about doing this to achieve what I ask. And this is perhaps the most intuitive way and definitely the most common. Firstly, we create two piles, a searched pile and an unsearched pile. We call them these. And then in this process, what we do is we go through each card starting at the beginning and check each one, one by one, to see if it is the three of diamonds. So for each card that we pull from the top of the deck, we ask, is this the three of diamonds? And we'd continue doing this until we find the three of diamonds. So in this case, we've pulled off the ace of spades, we've asked, is this the three of diamonds? And obviously it's not, so we continue on to the next card. We pull the five of clubs out, which again, isn't the three of diamonds, so we continue. We do it again, we get the two of clubs, which isn't the three of diamonds, so we continue. Until finally, we, we, we get the three of diamonds, you know? We, we've asked this question, is this three of diamonds? And it is the three of diamonds, so that's great, you know? We found this card in the deck of cards that I gave you. So we don't need to continue searching cards on the right either. You know, we've already found the cards, so we, don't, we can discard those. The process of checking one by one is a way that we find most things if we lose them in our daily lives. We go one by one through the list of options until we find it or we exhaust all the options. So for example, finding your keys, you'd have some kind of list of places it could be, maybe the, the kitchen, maybe the living room, maybe the bathroom, maybe your car and so forth. What you do is you'd have those and you check each one in turn until you found them or you've checked them all and you go, I've completely lost my keys because I can't find them anywhere. But that's the idea is we go one by one. Now this kind of process where we go one by one through something is called a linear search. If we have something where we start at the beginning and we go through it one by one checking each time for a certain thing or ask a certain question, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about a linear search because we're going through it one by one. Here's another example if that's if this analogy is a bit confusing with some actual data this time. So consider you have a, an array of cards similar to what we just worked with. So this array has five elements and each element is represented by a certain card. So on the far left, we have AC for Ace of Clubs. On the far right, we have AD for Ace of Diamonds. And you know, the other cards like 5CR, five of clubs. And as it's in an array, these strings of text ex exist within the slots of the array. So the ace of clubs is at position zero, the five of clubs is at position one, and, and so forth. So let's say we're asked this question, is the two of clubs in these cards? How do we solve this? Well, we can use a linear search algorithm that we just talked about, which is exactly like we talked about in our original example. We start at the first card, in this case, AC, and we ask the question, is this card, the ace of clubs, equal to the two of clubs? And of course, you know, the answer is no, so we can disregard this card. We then move along to the next one and we ask the same question. 
is this card, the five of clubs, equal to the two of clubs? And again, of course, the answer is no. So we can disregard this one as well. Now, we do this same thing again. We move on to the next card and ask if this card, the two of clubs, is equal to the two of clubs. Well, in this case, the two of clubs, the card that we're looking at, is equal to the two of clubs and that's great because that that means we found it in this array we successfully used a linear search algorithm to find this specific card within the array we could then return an answer like oh we found it it's in here or even something like it's in here and it is at it is exactly here it's at position two in the array one thing worth noting is now we found a card that we're looking for we don't need to consider the cards after this it wouldn't make sense if we did there's no point in doing it so we can stop there now let's consider the same problem but talk about when we don't find a result with linear search so let's ask this this question instead is the king of hearts in these cards now here's the same array we had before with the same data and we're looking for the king of hearts if we did a linear search so you know starting at the first slot testing the value moving on to the next one and continuing to do this we would find that the king of hearts isn't within the array we started at the first one as you can see here and we went one by one through the array testing each value against the king of hearts however we reached the end of the array and didn't find anything so it, it's not in there right we exhausted all our options we went through absolutely everything and we found none of them that were the king of hearts so we can conclude that the king of hearts isn't in this array because we've gone through each thing in the array and tested is it the king of hearts and all the time we've done that we've we've encountered the answer no it's not in there so it is definitively <laughs> not in there so just to summarize whenever you think of searching one by one it's usually a linear search you're talking about here's a more detailed algorithmic breakdown of how a linear search works so you start at the beginning of a collection and you check each item one by one so you start at the beginning you move across one item and you check that item now if the item you're looking at answers your question and that question could be anything it could be is it this particular item is this item more than something else then it's great you can stop there you know you found your item if not you can carry on checking check the next item move along if however you reach the end of the collection and you haven't found what you're looking for then it's not in there that's how simple a linear search algorithm is so thanks for listening guys and if you are still interested in watching some content have a look at the other videos on this channel there's some really interesting stuff thank you